Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Ryan Manuk. I'm a solutions consultant here at FileMaker and I'm really excited to be your host for today's FileMaker and QuickBooks integration webinar where you're going to learn how the FileMaker platform can complement and extend the data you already have in QuickBooks. Today we're joined by Mark LaRochelle and Adam Pulio from Productive Computing. They're a platinum member of the FileMaker Business Alliance as well as Leland Long from Keller Interiors who is here to talk about his personal integration experience. But before we get started, I have some brief housekeeping notes. So for the best experience, we strongly recommend that you participate in this webinar with at least a broadband connection. So if you have any problems or require online assistance at any time, please contact Citrix Technical Support at 888-259-8414. Again, that number is 888-259-8414. Now during today's presentation, you're gonna have the opportunity to type in and ask questions. So let's talk briefly about how to do that. Just go to the control panel, click on the question section, enter a question and click on send. Now we'll try to cover as many questions as time allows at the end of our presentation, but remember, you don't need to wait until then to submit a question. And now I'd like to introduce you to Mark, the CEO of Productive Computing Inc. Thank you, and thank you for attending the webinar today. And thanks to, for FileMaker for highlighting this important and exciting topic. Um, I also want to thank Productive Computing staff for their efforts in putting this content for the webinar together. So um, we may have a wide variety of people on the call today. Some of you may have been using FileMaker for years and years and are fairly new to QuickBooks, while others may have been using QuickBooks for years and years and are fairly new to FileMaker. Maybe some of you are new to both. Um, or if you're like me, I've had the pleasure to work with FileMaker since 1991 for about 25 years and working with QuickBooks since about 1996 for about 20 years. So no matter what experience level you have, there are a wide variety of tools and techniques you can incorporate to bridge the gap between FileMaker and QuickBooks. So today we're going to look at a brief look at some of these scenarios. Uh, we have one of our customers on the call today who's been kind enough to explain his integration scenario, which I think you'll find remarkable. Uh, we'll conclude with a brief demo of our latest product, the Core 4, 5, or excuse me, the Core 5 contact management system, which will provide you an example of what the completed integration looks like and can also be used as an easy and affordable way to get started, especially if you're new to FileMaker. So like I said, I started with FileMaker in 1991 and later founded Productive Computing in 1996. And right from the start, the company we were, you know, in the company we were using QuickBooks for all our accounting while we were using FileMaker for everything else. Uh, later we became a FileMaker Business Alliance Platinum Partner in 2002 and everything we do here at Productive Computing is centered around FileMaker and the ancillary services around FileMaker. So today, we help many customers automate their workflow with a wide variety of custom FileMaker applications, many of which include the incorporation of QuickBooks. We also have a suite of tools that we sell to the FileMaker community in the form of plugins that provide automation for other things such as Microsoft Outlook, Apple Contacts, Apple Calendar, Biometrics, uh, fingerprint authentication, signature pads, PDF form automation, and, and many others. Um, along the way, many customers have asked us you know, is there a way they can host their FileMaker data in the cloud? So in 2006, we started hosting FileMaker databases for our customers and the community. And the, the advantage there is hosting allows you to share your FileMaker data without the need to purchase or maintain your own FileMaker server. So allow me to give you a brief overview and a brief review of, of our product offerings and some information on what we're working on today. So regarding QuickBooks integration, um, by far our most popular product is the FM Books connector for Windows Desktop, and that is a plugin that offers a library of functions that a developer can use to move data between FileMaker and QuickBooks. Things like adding and editing customers, creating invoices, working with product items, inventory, and so forth. So just about anything you can do in QuickBooks by hand, the FM Books connector can provide a way to do it via a FileMaker script. Like the desktop version, we have a similar plugin available for the online version of QuickBooks. Currently, this works with Windows, and we're just about done with a Mac version with a planned fourth quarter release. We plan to have a server version of both of these plugins soon, which will enable you to push and pull QuickBooks data via the web or an iOS device by using the technique where you trigger a script that runs on the server. So there's a lot of exciting things coming along the way for all kinds of integration options. Now, I just wanted to take a brief moment and talk about 
um, those who are on the Macintosh and who prefer the Macintosh platform as their development environment, we actually have a free plugin template that acts as a placeholder when you're working with FMBooks Connector. So essentially this allows you to use your Mac for the majority of the programming even though the final solution will be running on Windows. And that's a little known fact that I wanted to tell the crowd. Um, then we have 123Sync, which is a product created by solution makers that we sell, which provides a fixed price for the most common integration scenarios. This can be a nice alternative if you're not a FileMaker developer or don't have one you regularly work with, where we can step in and do all the integration for you. And we'll be explaining that a little bit more in the presentation. Uh, finally, we have a brand new product offering created with FileMaker 15 which is an easy to use contact management solution which maintains contacts, vendors, activities, tasks, documents, notes, sales activity along with dashboard dashboard integration. So what's best about this is it's already pre-wired to work with QuickBooks where you can get up and running quickly and we'll take a look at this as well later in the presentation. So uh, thank you for you know attending this and I'm going to hand the mic over to Adam Puglio, our sales engineer, who will talk about these items and more. Great. Thanks, Mark. So as Mark just stated, my name is Adam Fulio. I am a sales engineer with Productive, Com Productive Computing. A uh, little background on me before recently joining Productive Computing. I worked for Apple in business development for about five years. Uh, during my time at Apple, I was introduced to the power of FileMaker as they are an Apple subsidiary and instantly fell in love with its capabilities. My transition to Productive Computing was an easy one since we're platinum partner with FileMaker, and I still talk to Apple and FileMaker employees on a regular basis, so I haven't fallen that far from the Apple tree, pun intended. So let's talk about why businesses use QuickBooks. QuickBooks is a user-friendly accounting software available with desktop and online options. With QuickBooks, businesses are able to manage their accounting at the complexity they desire from tracking customers, invoices, and payments to full expense tracking, reporting, and payroll. Let's look at QuickBooks today where we're at. So it's reported that, all, that of all the small to medium businesses using accounting software, an outstanding 80% use QuickBooks. We can clearly see this as an overwhelming percentage of users. Currently, there are 2.2 million customers using QuickBooks for their daily accounting. Incidentally, Productive Computing, our company, has been using both FileMaker and QuickBooks for the last 20 years. According to last, year, last year's QuickBooks Connect keynote, QuickBooks was used to create over $240 billion worth of invoices. So as you can see, it's a very popular accounting software. So let's talk about why we want to integrate QuickBooks with FileMaker. We often see this scenario where a sales team is sending information back to the main office in various formats. Perhaps they're sending invoices or client updates in email, spreadsheets, PDFs, or paper forms. Then the bookkeeper is stuck with the time-consuming task of sorting through all of this data from multiple sources and then manually updating QuickBooks. All of this can lead to inconsistent and inaccurate records. With FileMaker, you can automate this process by creating one location for all the changes to your data. Sales, admin, or office users can make all the necessary changes in your FileMaker solution from desktop or mobile apps. By integrating QuickBooks with FileMaker, the information is quickly pushed and readily available to everyone. Your bookkeeper no longer needs to re-enter all that data into QuickBooks and they can focus on important accounting tasks. Now the information is at your fingertips. You've reduced your double entry, you've improved your accuracy, and there is consistency in the data going to QuickBooks. So let's look at another scenario. Traditionally, the bookkeeper is the only person in the office with access to customer data. So for something as simple as following up on a recent payment or balance, you'd have to call or email the bookkeeper just to get this information. This clearly takes time out of everyone's day. Or you decided to purchase multiple QuickBooks licenses so anyone can look up the balance information. Do you really want everyone to have access to your financial data? Probably not. So imagine if all your employees had access to customer balances directly on a FileMaker app without having to contact accounting or opening the QuickBooks file. With the FileMaker app, the bookkeeper can click a button at the end of each day to update the balances in your solution. Now your entire team has the most up-to-date customer balance on their desktops or mobile devices. And, we, and we've all done this with only one person accessing your QuickBooks file. FileMaker offers many possibilities for streaming your workflow so that your entire staff has the information they need, but your critical financial data is only visible to select QuickBook users. Our most common QuickBooks integration requests are to automate the pushing and pulling of invoice and customer data. Using FileMaker apps, we can create a custom solution that allows your entire team to gather customer invoice information from anywhere, desktop, web, or iOS device. We then create buttons or scripts that send the data to QuickBooks and pull updates back into FileMaker. 
When you create a new customer or edit an existing contact in FileMaker, with the push of a button, the customer is added or updated in QuickBooks. With invoice automation, we create systems that allow you to match your QuickBooks items and pricing, generate the invoice in FileMaker, and then push that invoice into QuickBooks. And as we mentioned earlier, we can easily pull invoice balances back into FileMaker. We have multiple companies with field reps that relied heavily upon paper forms. All of their services were performed out of the office, requiring field reps to manually fill out paperwork for every single job. In each case, this resulted in time-consuming manual invoicing and sometimes created delay in receiving payments. By creating a custom FileMaker desktop and FileMaker Go app, they were able to eliminate all paper, go mobile, and speed up the turnaround time from initial service requests to receiving final payment. Imagine if you could improve your timelines with more efficient data entry and invoice processing. Everything is centralized in one place and your team has access to important client information no matter where they're working. So far we've taken a look at why you should integrate these two programs. Now let's discuss some of the direct benefits you immediately gain. FileMaker apps offer unlimited possibilities for creating a system customized for your specific processes and needs. There are many starter solutions available for you to create the right solution for your business. Contact managers, task lists, or invoice modules are just a few of the many options available. As a result, you can have improved customized workflow that is easy to use and quickly deploy to your entire team. And in just a few minutes, we're going to show you a CRM starter solution that you could quickly deploy to your entire team and is already pre-configured for QuickBooks. With FileMaker, you have the ability to add users as your team grows and manage additional aspects of your business, such as document storage, tasks, and scheduling. So it's fully scalable. There's also a variety of ways to purchase FileMaker, either for a one-time fee or as an annual subscription. With FileMaker, you're able to customize the application to meet your business needs and easily add or remove functionality. It's very flexible. So let's talk a little bit about how we accomplish an integration. Our FM Books Connector is a plugin used in multiple methods for posting data to QuickBooks and is a conduit for data exchange. There's three methods for using FM Books Connector. We can develop, or your own developer can develop a custom integration using the plugin. You can purchase an integration package such as 123 Sync. We're using a starter solution. For example, our Core 5 is built with the ability to push customers and invoices to QuickBooks. Let's take a closer look at each of these. A custom integration is ideal if you already have a FileMaker solution that you want to connect to QuickBooks. Also, if you have an advanced QuickBooks setup or robust accounting practices, you may need custom, custom development. You may wonder how you can get started. Using the FM Books connector, you can develop scripts on your own or hire a developer to customize the setup for you. There are options available depending on whether you're using QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online. We do have plugins that support both. Now let's take a look at how the FM Books connector has been utilized by a customer who's been using this plugin for some time. I'd like to introduce Leland Long. He's currently the IT director at Keller Interiors and has used FM Books Connector to accomplish an amazing QuickBooks integration with FileMaker. With only one machine, Leland has been able to automate all QuickBooks processes for 16 separate office locations using only one employee. His automation process has greatly assisted Keller Interiors accounting department to operate more efficiently. Leland's development is a great example of what you can accomplish with a custom integration designed to fit your business needs. So I'd like to pass it off to Leland. And uh, Leland, can you tell us a little bit about why you needed an automated process? Good afternoon, Adam. Before we integrated with QuickBooks, we had a part-time bookkeeper that was not an expert in QuickBooks, but was beginning to use some of the functionality and we began to explore um, and to decide what it was we wanted to use QuickBooks for, to what extent, um, based that against how much time and education would be required to put that in there. And one of the first processes that was used quite heavily, um, daily in fact, was creating a QuickBooks deposit from a fairly large check that we would get from a vendor that would include multiple invoices for multiple offices. And so the deposit would be created and then manually um, the bookkeeper would go through and figure out by totaling uh, how much was applicable for each office. And obviously that took some time and that was one of the first places where we decided, you know, that would be great to incorporate with, with FileMaker because um, we were currently using FileMaker to track all of the standard information in the database. Um, but with regards to QuickBooks, it was a manual process. Great. So it sounds like you were the perfect candidate for FileMaker to QuickBooks integration. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Well, I went ahead and grabbed the uh, demo copy of FM Books Connector from Productive. And 
started looking through their documentation and also the documentation that Intuit makes available for their QuickBooks SDK. And so started looking at what it would require to insert a deposit over into QuickBooks from FileMaker. And very quickly discovered what, in order to do that, you had to uh, send over some payments. So we started looking at sending payments over to QuickBooks. And then we discovered, well, in order to have a payment applied over in QuickBooks, you need an invoice. And then in order to have an invoice in QuickBooks, you needed to have customers. So we went all the way back to the customer level and started sending customers over. And as most developers um, can relate, it was exciting the day that um, using the plugin and everything put into place and having some temporary scripts put up and playing around, it was it was very exciting that first day that we had uh, customer data appearing in QuickBooks straight from FileMaker. So it started rather humbly, and then pretty soon, uh, obviously, we we needed to solidify that, get um, customers and invoices and payments going over consistently, accurately, um, before that initial deposit request could actually be fulfilled. And then once all of this was being handled, um, obviously we could start to see other possibilities of additional information and, and processes that could be automated for the office. Great, great. So by automating one process, you essentially began to see how you could continue to improve your workflow. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened next? Well, one of the things that became very apparent very quickly is that we didn't want to tie up an individual user. Um, it, would, it would be a common solution to place a button on an invoice screen or, or a contact screen and, and have the user click that the information be sent over to QuickBooks, they would need to wait for a response to come back and for that response to be processed. And then we had multiple offices uh, with 60 to 70 people in on the same hosted remote database, all creating and modifying invoices and customers all day long. The potential for many people trying to all talk to QuickBooks at the same time was a very real concern. So the solution for that was to create a separate table in FileMaker that would hold processes. And this would be a queue of processes that um, syst script triggers would be used on the, the various customer and invoice la layers, layouts, to um, create a process in this table. And then as far as the user was concerned and as far as customers and invoices were concerned, it was done. Um, the script triggers just simply created a new process with everything that it needed inside that table and it was done. Then we had a separate dedicated machine um, a PC running QuickBooks and a client of FileMaker and we had it set to handle processes um, every period of time and we ended up handling it at every three seconds. So every three seconds a new process was handled and it was done in a first in first out type structure and this was completely invisible to the user um, because processes were, were created in that queue um, then the dedicated machine would, would handle those. And um, it, again, it, would, it didn't really require any monitoring, and it just became automated at that point. Great. Thank you. Um, and I know we have an example um, of your process queue that's actually running, so what I'll do is I'll play the little video here, and you can uh, you know, maybe just talk about what's happening in the background. Sure. So what you see here in the, in the obvious background is um, QuickBooks Enterprise 16 running full screen in the back. And in the foreground here, we have a FileMaker Pro instance, again, a remote hosted database just being connected to here. And you can see the, the, run, the red running block um, illuminating and going away. That's basically every three seconds as a process is being handled. And new processes end up in the bottom of the queue. Um, this dedicated machine right here is handling the, the process at the top, which is the oldest one in, in the queue. And off to the right, you'll see various statuses. Each one of these processes has various statuses, starting at one, going up to two, three, and four. And when they're done, they're zero, and they fall off the list. Um, one thing to note here, again, is that we have 60, 70 different users all on Macs, all over the East Coast, various offices connecting and creating these processes, unbeknownst to them, due to script traders. And then this dedicated machine sits here in my office and is the PC that handles the QuickBooks side of things. Great. Great. So in the event that there's any downtime, was there something that you put in place to keep track of your transactions? Well, as I covered before, um, the individual users don't have any part of this process. There's no buttons to click. It's all handled at the script trigger level. And so these processes are, are generated and plopped into the queue. Um, but the joy is that um, 
the dedicated machine can be turned off at any time and the process queue just continues to grow. Um, so we can have that machine down for system updates in the middle of the day. Um, oftentimes the, accounting in the accountant in the middle of the day needs to go into single user mode, which uh, so we, we stop the, the dedicated system from working and she goes and does what she needs to do and then we turn it back on later and when it's, when it's turned back on, it just resumes in the queue um, and just catches up eventually. So while we were creating these um, processes and getting all of these pieces and parts put into place, it was very obvious that there was additional processes and, and ways to automate things in the future. Great, great. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the benefits and results of your QuickBooks automation? Time savings, we would guess to, may, to maybe save 500 hours a month. Um, kind of could sort of look at what it would take as far as having employees replace the automated process, what, it, what that would entail. Um, that would be probably day-to-day -day automation. We also have other special projects. Um, for example, um, we had a quarterly audit recently, and I could easily imagine that it could have taken four or five employees maybe 200 hours to crank through the 30,000 invoices for that quarter. Um, but instead, one employee doing batch processes um, with QuickBooks and FileMaker, we were able to finish that within about 16 hours. So pretty significant time savings. Obviously, that correlates to employee costs. Um, we are, we're able to do all of this with one account and one developer. And without this integration that we have in place, uh, could easily have needed three, six, five employees to, to handle all of that. Plus, one of the things that we can do is Keller can continue to grow and add additional offices every year. And no additional staff is needed for the accounting side. Um, so what's our return on investment? Oh, conservatively, we might be looking at 200000 for the year. Uh, we began this integration three, four years ago, and it's it's grown. It continues to grow, and various accounting functions are are added and tweaked, and uh, we continue to find new ways to improve the automation. That's great. That's great. Th thank you for the share, Leland. And I, I really think your story is a great example of the endless capabilities of a FileMaker to QuickBooks integration. Um, you know, you began with a single request and developed a fully automated accounting process. You know, I, I really think your innovative thinking allows you to, con to continue to develop scripts that truly illustrate the type of automation uh, that is possible with FM Books uh, connector integration with FileMaker. Uh, so I want to thank, thank you for your time today. Thank you. All right. Let's go back to our second option for integrating FileMaker to QuickBooks. If you're an existing FileMaker user, integration packages are ideal when you have an existing, well-structured solution with minimal customization needs. 123Sync is an ideal option for businesses that do, do not have a developer on staff and general QuickBooks setup. 123Sync offers users uh, a basic or in advanced integration package at a fixed price, allowing you to push customers, vendors, jobs, invoices, and more. And we're currently offering a promotional uh, uh, rate for 123Sync. Um, basically, we're going to be giving 50% off of our basic and advanced with subscription pricing. Um, the 50% off of basic is uh, it's normally $2,500, so 50% off of that. Uh, the advance is usually $6,000, then it'll be 50% off of that. Some of the advantages of advanced uh, is you get things like purchase orders, sales orders, sales receipts, and things like that. Um, and if you have any questions to that, we can talk a little bit more offline about that. Um, along with that, you would have to uh, pay an annual subscription of $55 a month or $600 a year, uh, which does cover unlimited users uh, and also has all of your um, support with that. So a startup solution is ideal for businesses who are not currently using FileMaker and need a system to track customers and invoices. Core 5 is an example of a startup solution that quickly allows you to import contacts from QuickBooks and begin creating estimates, orders, and invoices right away. Core 5 currently has three options. The free desktop edition was designed for single users on one machine. The subscription is an ideal option for multiple users or those needing a mobile solution. It does include the benefit of FileMaker licensing and hosting as well. The site license is perfect for those who want to get under the hood and customize Core 5 themselves. So we do offer a site license for those developers um, that would like an unlocked version so they can develop it themselves. Each option also includes a free 30-day demo of our FM Books connector. And right now I'm going to show you some of the features and how it connects to QuickBooks. So here we see a screenshot of Core 5. Um, it's our contact screen. And basically just note a couple of the features, uh, such as the contact list, the search bar, uh, information area and all the linked data. 
if you look on the right side of the screen, you actually see these little quick books with a green check mark. Uh, we're going to go into that and what that means, but that basically means that everything is linked with, with QuickBooks. Um, what you see here is exactly what's going to be pushed to QuickBooks. So there's always consistent data and no double entry, and it's shareable among your entire staff, uh, desktop or mobile. And here's a sample of our mobile solution. Uh, this is an iPad. So one of the benefits of FileMaker and Core 5 is the ability to take your data with, with you on your laptop, iPad, or iPhone. Mobile teams and office workers can view information from anywhere and in real time. So let's let's take a look at how easy it is to get started with QuickBooks. I'm going to walk you through the process of importing your existing information from QuickBooks to Core 5, such as contacts, items, and taxes. First, you're going to have to have your QuickBooks open along with the Core 5. And then from there, once you have the two programs open, you'll need to click on the Preferences button. It'll be right up here in the upper right-hand corner. Once the Preferences window is visible, ensure you check the box label, check this box if you intend to integrate the solution with QuickBooks. Once that's completed, click on the QuickBooks tab where you will see my FM Books Connector plugin has already been linked to my solution. You'll also notice there's been no activity in my QuickBooks import yet, and also my FM Books plugin has been registered and my connection is now established as well. So let's go ahead and import some items. And depending on how many items you have, um, this could take a few minutes or a handful of minutes. You're going to see that it pulls in 46 new items, so fairly quickly. And you'll see the import came in here, last import with the date, time. Now let's go ahead and import the rest of the items. I'm going to import taxes, customers, and vendors. And you'll see the import notes there pop up in real time. So as you can see, it's a very powerful tool. It brings everything right in real time, right directly from QuickBooks. Okay, so now you can see Core 5 has been updated. Now it aligns with QuickBooks information. You can see the items came in, tax rates, and now everyone in your team has the QuickBooks data needed to get started. So if you just did this and somebody's in the field on their iPad, they see it right away. So QuickBooks needs contacts to be entered before you can push an invoice. Let's now discuss how to create and push a new customer from Core 5 into QuickBooks. So first, you'll need to click on the new contact button and fill out the appropriate information. So go ahead and click new contact up here. And let's go ahead and looks like Mr. James Bond will need to be added to our customer list. So we're going to fill in all the information we have on him and list, and list him as a customer and also a status of new contact. He is a secret agent. His email, 007 at mi6.gov. Don't share that, it's secret. All right, so we're going to give him a customer. Status is new. Then you notice QuickBook links need, needs to be completed in order to get a green check mark, which confirms the push right now. We don't have the green check mark. We want to go ahead and click the push to QuickBooks button. And you'll now see a green check mark has appeared confirming the push. Now, if we go to QuickBooks, you'll see James Bond has now been added. Nice and easy. Imports everything accurately and timely. With FileMaker apps, anyone in your team is able to add a customer and have it flagged to be updated in QuickBooks without any follow-up needed. Okay, so now that we have our customer in Core 5 and posted to QuickBooks, let's discuss how to create and push a new invoice from Core 5 to QuickBooks. So first we'll need to click the New Sale button right up there, and then we'll select Invoice for type of sale. And now we'll need to link a customer using this link here. And from here we can find our customer. Let's just use James Bond as an example, so we just added him. James Bond, oops, go back here. Sorry about that. There he is. Okay, so from here we'll see he came in, and now we'll have to select a new item from our list and enter a price and quantity. So choose item, and let's see. Mr. Bond needs some new carpet. And we'll give him a good rate, $50, and we will do a quantity of five. Okay, so you see the updated there. Okay, so you notice we're seeing the same icon stating we'll need to push it to QuickBooks. So, so from here, we'll click the push the QuickBooks button to get a successful link again. Get that little green check mark pops up. And to verify the invoice is pushed, we'll click on the View in QuickBooks button, which will utilize the FM Books Connector plugin open a record in QuickBooks. We'll see it. FM Books Connector working right there. And as you can see here, everything has been pushed timely and accurately. No double entry. 
very efficient automation process. So this is a great example of how your sales team can create an invoice in the field on their FileMaker Go app. Then back in the office, the bookkeeper can immediately push it to QuickBooks. Great system. So remember our bookkeeper who kept getting calls or emails constantly for customer balance information? Well, let's have a look at how the bookkeeper can apply a payment in QuickBooks and easily pull the invoice balance into Core 5. So you see here we have a balance of $250 for Mr. Bond. And you'll see the unpaid because there's no green check mark. So let's go into QuickBooks so we can get his invoice paid. From here we'll click, let's click invoice here. We will click receive payments. Okay, we see his invoice here, $250. And from here we're actually going to click receive payments. Right there. Okay, and from here you can you know use cash, check, credit card, whatever you might, whatever you might check. Uh, in this case, we'll use a check. And you can put a check number in there. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll hit save. Okay. And now we see a zero balance on his invoice record. Now, we can go back to Core 5 and pull the balance by clicking the Pull Balance button. And voila. Now we see it's complete. He has a zero balance on invoice record. We have all greens, and we're good to go. Now your entire team has access to client balance without needing to access your QuickBooks file or distracting your bookkeeper. Also remember when we talked about privacy, um, after an integration, one person can be assigned to manage the QuickBooks updates. So far you've seen QuickBooks updating customers and invoices one at a time. So let me show you how Core 5 lets you update multiple records at once. So from our dashboard under contacts, we can see all new contacts have been added since our last push to QuickBooks. Some with green check marks is completed and a few with yet to be synced icons listed here in yellow on the side. So we have some greens, we have some yellows. So I'll go ahead and click the push all the QuickBooks button, which will now complete the push and make all contacts green. And it marks the confirmation of the push. We have all greens. So let's go ahead and verify. Let's use uh, one contact as an example. So City of Bayshore. So City of Bayshore says it's been pushed into QuickBooks. Okay. We can now see, using the FM Books connector, that the contact has been added into QuickBooks. Okay, so just, just by clicking that View in QuickBooks button, we can now verify all that. All right, so let's discuss pushing all new invoices to QuickBooks. Also, please note I left QuickBooks open in a window on the right so you can see the push in real time. So from here, you notice we have some invoices of green checks, meaning they've been pushed, and some yellow and red have yet to be pushed. So we'll click the Push All QuickBooks button, and as I do this, please pay attention to the QuickBooks window slope on the right. As you see, the invoice is being pushed, and the plugin does its magic. You'll probably see that automation there. And depending on how many invoices you have, this could take a couple minutes. It's usually pretty quick, though. All right, so now that all invoices have been pushed to QuickBooks, you see all green check marks confirming the, confirming the operation. And to further verify, let's go ahead and click on an invoice that's been pushed. Let's we'll click 1007. Okay. And from here, we'll click the View in QuickBooks button to open the Push Invoice in QuickBooks. And as you can now see, the invoice has been pushed accurately into QuickBooks. Okay, everything in there. Nice and neat. So as you can see from this demo, an FM Books Connector integration with FileMaker and Core 5 allows you to streamline with QuickBooks to you know, really help you quickly update your entire system. And Core 5 offers the flexibility along with FileMaker to push records individually or as a group in real time. The starter solution offers new FileMaker users the ability to harness the power with minimal setup. For those of you that have attended this webinar, I'd like to invite you to download a free single user version of Core 5 on our website, which we're going to uh, give you the website here in a couple minutes. For those companies that require multiple users, we do offer a subscription version hosted on our cloud servers, which also include your FileMaker licensing. The third option is a site license, which we talked about briefly, um, which allows you or your developer access to the code for you to customize it all on your own. And all this information can be found at www.core5crm.com, uh, but I am going to give you that uh, website up there in a minute, so bear with me. Um, and I wanted to thank you all again for taking the time uh, today out of your day to attend this webinar. Um, and with that, we can move into the Q&A section. Um, as you'll see here, you can see our, our uh, contact email for the sales department, our direct phone number if you want to talk to me, um, and also our um, websites for Core 5 CRM, uh, productive.computing.com FM Books for our FM Books connector we discussed. And then the FM2QB.com is actually our 123 sync application we talked about, the uh, uh, <coughs> fully integrated accounting software. And for that, I will uh, pass that back over to FileMaker.
All right. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, Mark and Adam, for the fantastic demo. A lot of great information here, and a big thanks to Leland Long from Keller Interiors for joining us today and sharing his uh, fantastic file maker story. So we'll go ahead and open this up to some Q&A. Again, if you haven't already, you can enter your question in the GoToWebinar control panel, click on the question section, enter your question, and click on send. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, dive into the queue of questions, and the first one, um, for the FM books, uh, I'm sorry, for uh, QuickBooks, um, is the Canadian version supported or is the U.S. version uh, uh, supported uh, only? Uh, sure, that's a great question. Um, they uh, they are um, supported with Canadian versions. Perfect. Um, another question about uh, QuickBooks version: Does FM Books Connector work with uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed and uh, QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions? Um, it does work with enterprise solutions. Um, Self-employed, I'm not quite sure what, what they mean by that. Um, that'd be like a premier accountant. Uh, there's, um, yeah. Adam, this is yeah. Mark. Yeah, there's, um, there was a QuickBooks self-employed product offering from Intuit, which is like um, sold by the month. And um, to be quite honest with you, this is kind of the, we just started looking into this. So I can't answer that directly, whether it's compatible or not. Um, so when we get the answer to that, we'll be happy to follow up with uh, with the person who asked that question. Okay. Uh, the next question, does FM Books Connector handle multi-currency transactions? Um, Mark, you want to answer that question? Yes. I mean, for example, we have um, the, the Canadian version. We also have the uh, Australian version of QuickBooks. And so with multi-currency, a lot of that is handled you know, within QuickBooks and we had to accommodate for that in the plugin. So you can move data back and forth um, based on your currency needs or the, the intricacies therein. Perfect. All right, uh, the next question. What happens when an invoice changes? Will the change happen automatically or do you have to wait for a sync? Um, well, there's a couple different ways. Um, you can, of course, manually sync it or you can have a script, uh, an automated script running in the background that'll uh, provide that uh, syncing for you. Okay. And can you touch on what the options are for Mac users who use QuickBooks? Sure, sure. Yeah, great question. Um, you know, and given my background at Apple, I definitely um, dealt with a lot of uh, you know Windows versus Mac environments. Um, so currently, right now, and actually, Leland is a, it's a great example of this, um, where his entire staff is uh, all on Mac. Um, I, think, I think Leland said about 70 employees. Um, so with that, um, you know, he's got a PC running uh, in his office, which does all the uh, QuickBooks uh, pushing and integration. So um, I'm finding a lot of offices do that that are on a Mac uh, environment. You know, um, we we are currently working on a uh, Mac plugin for FM Books Connector for the online edition, um, and we expect that to be completed in, in fourth quarter, uh, just like Mark uh, talked about previously. Um, so, for those of you using online uh, edition, please hang, please hang in there, and uh, you know we'll definitely have that um, uh, you know plugin for you. Um, and there are some other uh, options out there as well uh, beyond productive computing, um, but those are the examples that uh, you know we currently know about, and I think Leland is a great example of that. Perfect, and that actually uh, leads into a, another question. We had a lot of people asking whether uh, FileMaker on a Mac could work with QuickBooks on a uh, Windows machine, which you verified and which Lynn is yeah. doing right now. So, yep. uh, absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. All right, um, the next question, uh, a few questions about Core 5. Um, can you track uh, an invoice uh, billable hours in Core 5? Uh, you can, yeah, yeah absolutely, yep, yep, definitely. And... Um, a few questions about whether Core 5 is uh, strictly focused on integrating with QuickBooks or does it track other information? Um, well, Core 5, it, it, is a, it is a FileMaker solution, so of course you can customize it to uh, anything that you could a regular FileMaker database. Um, for purposes of demonstration today, we just talked about QuickBooks integration, um, but there are you know, a whole variety of uh, customization options available with FileMaker. Um, when building an invoice in Core 5, can you verify the quantity of inventory before completing the invoice, or is that something that uh, you'd have to build in, uh, into the file? Um, yeah, I believe that would be something that you'd have to build into the file through, through uh, development. Okay. And uh, a question for Leland. Can you touch on how long um, the integration took uh, between your FileMaker and QuickBooks environment, and also how much time did you set aside for uh, testing before you deployed? Sure. Um, I would say from the day we started with the plugin until um, we had enough functionality to, to begin testing it would probably be about um, six to eight weeks, so like two months. And then uh, 
by the time we went to production, there wasn't um, too much change that was needed. So I would say you know, another two weeks to four weeks for production. So two to three months from start to finish for the initial set of uh, customers' invoices, payments, deposits. Cool. And Adam, is that something that you find that's a, a typical um, timeline for uh, deployment and uh, testing, integration uh, and testing? Yeah, I think so. It depends on the end, end use case. Um, you know, it, it varies. I hate to, you know, quote exact time frame, but, uh, you know, it could be uh, something simpler or something more involved. But I, th I think Leland, uh, you know, for his solution, that's that's certainly, uh, the, you know, a lot of time frame. In terms of, um, uh, or back to uh, FileMaker and QuickBooks uh, and FMBooks Connector, um, will it sync over uh, repeating fields? Uh, Mark, would you mind answering that one? Sure. I, I mean, I guess if you have an invoice that's constructed using repeating fields, you could write a script that goes down the repeat column and then pushes those line items to an invoice, if that's what you're talking about. But traditionally, when we come across customers that use repeating fields, we encourage them to move those to a proper database where the line items are in a separate table so that you can, you know, that's the modern way of doing things. So normally before we would do any kind of integration, we would migrate those repeating fields into a proper table of related line items and then right. incorporate that into an invoice. Perfect. Um, touching on the QuickBooks uh, location, uh, can you just verify that uh, it is okay to have QuickBooks on a, uh, or installed on a remote Windows server and uh, not on the local area network? Sure, sure. Uh, Mark, would you mind grabbing that one? Sure. Well, um, I guess there's two ways to look at that. If you're talking about a remote server not on the network, well, if you're talking about a, a remote server sort of on the network, Leland has a, an example of that where he's got QuickBooks running on a dedicated server uh, outside any of the user space. It's totally on a dedicated server and it's running an automated routine in the background. Um, for those that host their QuickBooks file, using one of the official hosting providers that either from Intuit directly or from any of the other third parties that host QuickBooks, um, nine times out of 10 and maybe even 10 times out of 10, they don't allow you to install third party software within that environment. You simply have to give them your QuickBooks file and then they host it for you, but they're, they don't encourage any kind of third party integration. So it would likely not work that way. Um, we have here at Productive Work toying with the idea of possibly allowing customers to have their files hosted through one of our traditional hosting servers and allow them to get into their FileMaker data remotely. So great question. Excellent. And we have a few people asking whether uh, Core 5 includes FMBooks Connector or is that a separate uh, purchase? Sure, great question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, Core 5 uh, does not include the FM Books Connector. It is um, a paid plugin. Uh, you can receive the um, desktop version for free and then you can add the plugin uh, on, the, on our cart there at uh, core5crm.com. Okay, Adam. I'm going to Adam. I'm going to step in here and ask that you guys quote what FileMaker versions are supported by your various. We haven't covered that at all. Sure. Yeah. No. That's a great question. I'm sure if somebody passed it out there, but I'll go ahead and answer it. Um, you know, currently uh, our our latest FM Books connector does support FileMaker Pro 13 through 15 and 32 bit. Yeah, and I want to further add to that that although that's what we officially support, versions um, all the way back to you know FileMaker 11, maybe even earlier, can work with the 32-bit version of of the plugin. But um, like FileMaker, we end support for those products based on two versions back of FileMaker. So. FileMaker 13 or above. And then finally, we are working on a 64-bit version. Actually, it's it's um, in its final testing phase, which allows people who have um, who want to install a 64-bit version of FileMaker on their Windows box, they can do that now soon with our uh, upcoming release, which again will be in a month or two. Perfect. Uh, and we have a few people asking um, for further information about uh, 123 Sync and the difference between that and FMBooks Connector. If you could touch on that again. Sure, sure. Um, so FM Books Connector, uh, you know, is, is the plugin, uh, the, the conduit that talks between um, the FileMaker solution and QuickBooks. Um, you will have to have uh, some basic knowledge of, of scripting to, to kind of tailor it to, to your needs. Um, the advantage of 123Sync is the, uh, the, the scripts are already in place. Um, so say if you're a new user, you're not familiar with FileMaker, you know, you don't have a developer on hand, um, 123Sync is a better option just because it's already uh, pre-configured for you. So it's a great, it's a great starter solution. 
Perfect. All right, that's all the time we have for today. On behalf of FileMaker, it's our absolute pleasure chatting with you. Again, big thanks to Mark and Adam from Productive Computing, and a huge thanks to Leland Long for uh, joining us and sharing his story. But we definitely hope to see you guys on another web, uh, webinar soon. Have a great day.